Um, and Mash actually got a good freeze that pushes yep. towards him. The double lift, they're actually going to muscle this turret down in the top lane right now. So CLG start to make their moves. Obviously, we're really okay with just giving up that first dragon. They lost practically nothing and knew that the map control would be theirs just a little bit time later. That's how CLG games have been going, where they'll get a tiny lead off of the lane swap, and we saw them not get... Oh, Link! First blood, but the plays! Oh, so close! Link taking a few turret shots, but gets Man Cloud first blood into a fighting situation sometimes. I guess everybody's been able to get his number, like, though. He's, he's not up coming in CS, out for him. too. Like, he's right, up in CS right. over his lane opponent. He's in a good position. Oh, and then he forces oh dear. Oh, the TP. They really want Impaler. Oh, Fates call wow. in. Wow. Yeah. Obliterated. Wow, indeed. Obliterated. Teleport in from Zion Spartan. His lane was pushed. I mean, yep. he's got not much else to do here. And it looks like they're going to focus on to the bottom lane. So always looking to get something after they take a small advantage. And Zion Spartan, because he shoves that wave out, he's not going to miss a whole lot of CS, yep. or any at all for the most part. He's going to miss about three, maybe four, by the time that he gets up there, especially since he's cannon with the lightning rush. Mash chambers the collateral damage and fires it off to clear the minion wave. That knows that Kennen won't be there, but Zion Spartan was backing anyways. May not have needed to do that. Chris? Might be able to get a good pressure on this turret, but he doesn't have too many forward wards that Coast has actually been able to place at all this game. We gotta watch it now, because I said it. He missed two. He missed two minions. <laughs> Keep an eye on it, for sure. Go. Yeah, and that's just because of the wave management of Zion Spartan, where he shoves the wave out before he makes a play. These are premeditated, where he knows he's gonna go to that ward. Chris. This might, is, be, might be looking to make a play. This is scary. I don't know. Yeah, okay. If Impaler's there, he can get him. Chris's ultimate being down would mean Zion gets away, but very hurt. Plays to the bot lane almost as well. Mash me, taking a few hits. It looks like he gets out with a lightning rush. Nicely done there. Man Cloud, the death mark instantly from Link as he comes back, knowing that it, even if he hits it and gets out, Man Cloud can't sustain that damage. Yeah, and that gave Link the Blade of the Ruined King mm -hmm. up over him. So really, really big. Spike there for the Zed. And now he just gets to completely dictate this lane. Yeah. But Man Cloud, he goes and he gets himself a first item Zonia's Hourglass to try and deal with that. I'd say that'd help. Yes. That'd it would help definitely a little help. bit, Zyreem. <laughs> Good pick up for Man Cloud. We'll see if Link actually looks for other targets now, which could mean bad things for Mash and Impaler if he finds them in the jungle. They will kind of congregate towards mid lane on the side of coast to stop this pressure from happening. But now CLG starts to move in. They start to steal because they think everything is theirs. Oh, he, uh -oh. he stole the lantern, uh -oh. Smithy. Here comes the collapse, the, the TP. What a box, they can't really opponent. He's in a good position. Oh, then he forces oh dear. Oh, the TP, they really want Impaler. Oh, Fates call wow. in. Wow, yeah, Obliterated. wow indeed. Obliterated. Teleport in from Zion Spartan. His lane was pushed. I mean, yep. he's got not much else to do here in the coast to stop this pressure from happening. But now CLG starts to move in. They start to steal because they think everything is theirs. Oh, he, uh -oh. he stole the lantern, uh -oh. Smithy. Here comes the collapse, the, the TP. What a box, they can't really follow up Chris here. He gets absolutely taken down. Man Cloud flashes in, he has no Spirit ulti. Rush is down, which means that flash puts him in the fight to be cooked up here by Counter Logic Gaming. Double lift does get taken down. That was a flash in Monsoon for Sheep trying to make an incredible play that was very hard to be made. Zion Spartan gets to lane. shove the top lane right. though, the back of yeah. Link. I'm looking oh. for even more right now, Death Mark up. Look at, they they have the wards that are up here. Chris did not even have a ward there. It's gonna be a good bit of damage. The death mark lands, one last Q, he flashes for it. Gives him a quick spin move and takes the shadow ultimate. Right back to Smith. Dragon will not be contested here by Coast. And again to the top lane, the turret gets saved. Zion's teleport is ready to go. Oh. Depends on the matchup. Chris basically pulls out his swords early, but Mash, Ooh, Mash, he gets stunned. They had a ward that saw double lift and everybody coming through, but still, the roam was started before Mash moved and CLG is able to pick it up. So they're so pushing. Got that out of the way. CLG, CLG's in the fight. Whoa, oh, whoa, kick. a little too hard there. That's what happens when you don't have the vision going into a fight. Link gets himself into a scary spot. The team seems like they can save off the rest of the engage sheep. The exhaust on a double lift. Chris gonna dive in, but he gets instantly locked up. It did not seem like everybody was on the same page there. The true Zero oh. adventure is now in favor of Counter Logic Gaming.
They choose to go right to the end of the book on that one. Man Cloud goes down. Oh, the... Ooh! Flash for flash, eye for an eye as they move into the base. Inhibitor turret will fall a minute and 40 on Dragon. I don't even know if it's going to be a necessary action for Counter-Logic Gaming here as they're putting their foot down inside the base of Coast. Even though they, they killed Link. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Still fighting. Pushed off. That very nice monsoon to pretty much just keep that inhibitor alive for a little bit longer, but it's going to go down with the pressure Counter Logic Gaming can put on. Oh, they're backing. Do it. Do it. They, it would be real. They'd have to rush it like right now. Died of the map, and it's going to be barren for them. Contested only from the side of Raptor here. Man here. Cloud, he's standing on he the still board, but still gets the hook. Exploded. Lightning strikes twice for Man Cloud, and it looks oh. like it. Paler gets hit. Death Mark goes down. No chance for a smite. Doublet says, "Don't worry, guys. I'm going to stay in here, but I may need some help." As he goes to half health, they're back in. The Baron's going to go down. They fight two fights at once, or is it going to be the Fates Call start off with Aphromoose Hook? Oh, oh he gains a double. It's going to be on a double lift. The, sh the Lantern was there immediately, already in place, foreshadowing the gank coming in from Coast as Double Lift made his way to the front line. Safety in the danger that CLG creates somehow, and they're able to keep pushing through. It's another open inhibitor for them, but Link, he hasn't been a part of any of these pushes because he's got his own thing going <laughs> on. He's playing his own game. Yeah. It's solo Link. Turret defense here. So he's going he's to gonna be like taking him down. This inhibitor is going to fall as well. Coast, the ultimate for MASH comes out, which means it won't be used in the 5v5. That's the hit on Demand Cloud. Can't take down Zion Spartan just yet. He wakes up to a thunderstorm, but they're able to get out of that one. Man Cloud still goes down. 40 seconds on the clock for these. Sheep's gonna get popped. Somebody gets a new code off of that one, even with the heal. And 30 minutes on the clock, the looks like the base is gonna fall for Coast. Very methodical game from CLG again. Yep. Perfection in the early game. Then they didn't even have to team fight. They just split no. push you to death. That's the thing. They avoid you as they take what they want. They've been doing it for the past few games. They started it this season with a bit of a folly in that situation, but it seems like they figured out what they want to do continuously with these compositions, whether it be experimental or not. And they're going to come out with another victory. Counter Logic Gaming moving themselves to 10 and 4 as they take down Coast. And they remain in second place behind TSM. Yep. The end of week seven for them.